even here? Because we're documenting your greatness. Ha! <laughs> greatness. Like, what is that? What does that even mean? Hey, you'll greatness. be fine. Okay, we're working through this. It's just a speed bump. This isn't a speed bump. This is a colossal pileup. I can't do this anymore. I've lost my mojo. Just stick a fork in me, Alex Knightley. I'm done. You are being overly dramatic and more so than usual. Don't you see? I am the Steve Blass of life coaching and matchmaking. Steve Blass. You know, won the World Series in 71, then blew up and was out of oh, baseball no, no. by the time. I know who that is. How do you know who that is? I know things. The more you talk sports, the more worried I get. I know, right? Emma, everybody makes missteps. You just need to take it slow and don't do anything crazy. Are you implying that I am mentally unstable? No, I just... This isn't you, and you need to find yourself again. I suppose you know how to do that. Well, maybe instead of focusing so hard on client problems that you end up second-guessing yourself, you take a step back. Spend some time with friends and family. Well, what happens when your friend is your client, like Harriet? For the thousandth time, Harriet is not your client. Poor, poor Harriet. I convinced her to put her entire heart into state senator scumbag Elton. Oh, I feel so guilty. Yeah, and you probably should. Mm. But the best thing you can do right now is be there for her. Be supportive and listen. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can be there for Harriet. I can be a, a good friend. Mm -hmm. I'll be supportive. I'll listen. And I'll make her life better. Oh, listening was the key word there. Uh, mm, shoot. Alex is right. I need to be supportive and listen more. Harriet deserves at least that much from me. Right now, she's distracting herself from her heartbreak by finding more and more work to be done around here. Unfortunately, with no new clients, there really isn't that much to be done. And the office supplies can only be counted so many times. Luckily, there have been no computer emergencies. If Robert Martin were to walk back in right now, Harriet's head would be turned by his unambitious, nice guy demeanor, and we would be right back to where we started. She's come too far for that. At least I did the right thing for Harriet there. That's not what Harriet needs now. She needs someone who will listen to her. I think that's the key to breaking out of this rut. Be a good person, take care of your friends, pay more attention, and be a better listener. And then find her someone new. Someone better. Here's your coffee, Emma. Oh, I already have a coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. Harriet, come have some coffee with me. Keep me company. I'll try. I don't think I'm very good company these days. I'm not sure I ever was. I'm so sorry, again. No, I've been thinking about it and I only blame myself. What? Why? Because I was naive. I'm always naive. No, Harriet, no. You only did what I told you and listened to what I said. I was wrong and Elton was wrong, never you. But I was naive. Harriet, stop saying that. You are one of the best people I know. You are smart with a big heart. Nothing that happened was your fault. It was, it was mine. I just don't think I'm any good at relationships. That's not true. You have been a great friend to me. Alex thinks you're wonderful, and as far as men, there are a thousand out there better than James Elton. Why don't we go through that list of possible clients you compiled a few months ago? See if anyone sparks your interest? Uh, I don't know. Would you rather be introduced to someone in person? I was thinking about my dermatologist for you, but he may be too pert. Is pert good? I don't even know what to look for in a guy anymore. What do you look for? Oh, I'm very particular. So particular, in fact, that I figured out a long time ago I liked being single and decided to stay that way. Really? Love can be a beautiful thing, but it's not for everyone. Like you, I am a strong, independent, ambitious woman. To find one person that's perfect for you in every way, it's not easy. Heck, it's why I have a business. That sound kind of daunting. Not to mention people grow and change over time. Just because they're right for you now doesn't mean they'll be right for you forever. Well, that's why you need someone who will grow and change with you. Actually, I don't need anyone. A man would just demand my attention and complain about my adherence to throw pillows. You know, I have big dreams, and that takes a lot of time and energy. There's just no room left for romance. I've never been in love, and honestly, I don't think I ever will. So you're okay with being alone? Forever? In the lifestyle excellence profession, I am never alone. Am I interrupting? Izzy, what are you doing here? Oh, it's a long story, but I thought we could grab some lunch. Mm -hmm. Harriet, this is my sister, Izzy Knightley. Izzy, this is my friend and assistant, Harriet Smith. Knightley? Izzy's married to Alex's brother, John. Our families go way back. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Can I get you some coffee? You have the good stuff, right? Obviously. <laughs> Cream, two sugars. Um, um, 
Uh, almond milk and stevia? Perfect. Oh, is this the... Um... It is. Do you mind? It's a little weird at first, but you get used to it. Oh, no, 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 that's <laughs> fine. Um, hi. <laughs> so how are you? Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Wait a minute, did you talk to Alex? Don't sisters come first? No, he was worried and he reached out. Well, he told me what happened. I'm fine. Emma? Well, I'm fine, but I'm not happy about it. Well, if there's something that's bothering you, I want you to talk about it and I want to know that you'll be okay. Well, the best thing you could do for me right now is to help me forget about it. Oh, okay. I can do that. So, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about you. I haven't seen you in months. Tell me everything. How are you? Oh, I'm great, as always. And the kids? Great, currently attacking their Uncle Alex with John. <laughs> How is John? Great. And the restaurant? Oh, great. He's actually expanding it. He is? Yep. All part of the 10-year plan. <laughs> he must be super busy then. Oh, yes, you know John, but I convinced him to come down here for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should get going. I made reservations at the one sit-down place with food my kids will deign to eat. Sure, let me grab my purse. I will grab my husband and children. Something is wrong with her.